I'm Sydney Kirsten. I'm Harry Allison. I'm Faye Simpson. And I'm Erin Blanchard. And we are members of the Colstrip FFA chapter. The product we are presenting today is Vet 22, which is an all natural honey. And it is made with wildflowers. So this year was a really big clover, sweet clover year. So that is going to affect the flavor of the honey. And I'm going to talk about the production process. The production of honey takes about four to six months. It starts with the bees. They fly around and collect honey, or pollen from the flowers. And they go back to their beehives, start producing some honey. And once it's time, the owners will smoke the bees to sedate them. And then they will move, remove the slides from the hives and in scrape off the beeswax, which they will use later to make other products. Then they will insert in, them into a spinner, which is what it sounds like. It just spins the slides very fast so the honey comes out of them. And then they bottle them and sell them. So our targeted demographic is anybody that really enjoys honey. Um, you can put it in teas, your coffee, anything that you want. And all natural flavor rather, rather than um, processed sugars because the honey that they produce is an all natural substance because they don't put other sweeteners or any additives in it. We advertise by, or they advertise by having it in local stores such as our coffee shops and I feel that makes it more accessible to anybody because they used to do it in a process of going door to door, knocking and asking, would you like to buy it? And they still do that from time to time, but I feel that it's much more accessible and accessible to people who um, don't get their doors knocked on. Because when you see it in a coffee shop and you're drinking tea and you're thinking, well, if I want this tea at home, I don't have the sweetener that they have, but now it's accessible to anybody that would like to pur purchase it. And we also advertise by putting ads up on social media such as Facebook. To ensure the quality of the honey, they use a packaging system that has a seal on the lid so that once the lid gets put on, the seal automatically clamps on tight to ensure no contaminants are added onto the honey. To ensure food safety, all workers and machinery are disinfected and sanitized. Workers will wash their hands throughout the entire process so that everything can be in order and to make sure that no other animals uh, and insects are also contaminated into the honey. This product is uh, made with bees that we keep on, or they keep on their property throughout the summer. So they have the opportunity to go pollinate with the wildflowers that you can find all throughout Coal Strip in Montana. So during the winter, since it does get pretty brutal because it is um, Montana, um, we, they take the bees and put them in their garage so the bees and the honey stay of, of prime quality to produce the best honey they can that season. They also year round have um, a few boxes of honey stored in a local ranch outside of Coal Strip. The name Vet 22 stands for a statistic. The vet is veterans and the 22 stands for the 22 veterans who commit suicide daily. 10% of the money we make annual, the money they make annually go towards the veteran support systems all over the world, or the United States. <laughs> As she said before, the product, this product is $14 a pound in this bottle. And there are also seasonal flavors such as pumpkin spice in the fall. If you are interested in having this product or purchasing it, then you can find them at 5000 Pine Drive in Coal Street, Montana. Thank you.